This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and today I'm going to talk to you about early summer pruning. Now, if you have perennials in your garden, uh, some of them you can prune in the early summer, the, the end of May, the first part of June, and it's going to really improve the flowers that you get. So this is phlox, and phlox, P-H-L-O-X, is a late summer blooming perennial. And this one has already been pruned in the stair-step fashion. This is a technique that they do a lot in England. First step is low. I pruned this, the front of the, sh of the perennial down low. Second step, I pruned it medium. And then the last one, I left unpruned. What's going to happen is that this is going to bloom midsummer. This section is going to be blooming late summer. And then this very front section is going to bloom early in the fall and be taller and hide the plants, sections that have already bloomed. So let me show you how you do stair-step pruning. So here's the front of an unpruned phlox. This very front part here, I'm gonna take in my hand just like this and cut it low, about a foot from the ground. I try to aim to cut right at a joint or a node. You don't have to be exact. Now this next one, about a third of the plant, is gonna be the middle step. So about that much. And I'm gonna prune that. See, I did those about one foot. I'll do this maybe about three feet. And you can just like that. Okay, so now I can, this, I didn't cut right to a node. I'm going to go ahead and Pinocchio nose is sticking out. I'll shorten that a little bit. So you see the three steps. The lowest, the middle, and then the unpruned tall section. This is going to be blooming in July. Blooming late in the summer. So I've just extended the blooming time of my uh, beautiful volcano flocks. Volcano flock is the variety that I like because it's mildew resistant. So, this has been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens.